age of eight, I remember very distinctly looking to the front of the church, and it sat about 1,800 people. And I'm like, hmm, there's something going on in that front part of the church, and I'm very intrigued. So I asked my mom, could you tell me who, who are these folks? And she said, oh, that, that's the deaf community. And I said, oh. And then who's the lady doing this with her hands? And my mom explained, she's a sign language interpreter. And I looked at my mom and I said, I'm going to be a sign language interpreter. And she went, okay. <laughs> you know, I mean, what does a parent say to an eight-year-old? And I said, well, can I sit with them right now? And so she said, sure. So I walked to the front of the church and I sat in the middle of all the deaf community. And they're like, welcome. And they took the next 10 years and groomed me and educated me about what does it mean to be part of the deaf community? What is our culture? What is our language? What are our norms and behaviors? And I then graduated from high school. And at the time, so this is, we're talking about the eight, end of the 80s, you could actually not get any degrees in the field of interpreting. You could get a certificate of completion for a nine month training program, which is what I did. And then I became a, a professional interpreter. And so I started doing that. 14 years later, I got involved with, uh, there was a special training in New York at the Juilliard for interpreters. So I was selected to be part of that and then went back and completed my undergrad in theater and performing arts interpreting. Um, I did that for 14 years and then I moved out to Washington DC and helped run the, the performing arts genre of SLA, which was Sign Language Associates, one of the first uh, female owned and operated sign language interpreters and uh, agencies in the country. I then transitioned from there to staff at Gallaudet University, and I was a level three staff interpreter, which meant I worked at the president's office. Um, and then from there, I moved down here with my husband, and uh, been here now almost 13 years. So that's the beautiful career that I got to have. I, I would say that the most humbling part for me is that um, the deaf and hard of hearing community, the Family Center on Deafness staff and the board of directors um, saw my 30 years of professional history within the deaf community and respected me enough to allow me this opportunity to come on and help guide FCD forward for the next generation. Mm -hmm.